Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How are you doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra class, Algebra 1 and 2 class, actually. Um, today we're going to start Chapter 4. We're going to talk about solving systems by graphing. Um, so this is a really cool chapter. It's uh, pretty useful. You're going to see this a lot in SATs and ACTs. And if you ever plan on running a business, you're going to go ahead and see this because you have to make what's called break-even point formulas. Do this. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about that little interruption. Okay, so systems. What is a system? Well, a system of equations is a set of two or more equations. Okay, it is used when you have two or more related unknowns. They do not have to be necessarily linear equations. They can be any type of equations, but we're going to talk about systems of linear equations. A linear system consists of two or more linear equations, okay? And a solution of a system is the value or set of values, in other words, the ordered pair, which if you remember, that's my x comma y value, for the variables that make all of the equations true. So what does that mean? The, the solution of a system solves all of the equations involved, okay? So, for example, if the solution is 2, 5, that means that when we put 2, comma 5 into every equation of the system, those equations will come out to be true, okay? That means that the solution satisfies all of the equations. For example, when we're talking about a solution of linear, of linear systems, you're going to have one point that satisfies all of the equations, okay? Just like in the example that you have here. That point that satisfies all of the equations is called the intersection point. In this particular case, I've got y equals 2x plus 5. Well, my y-intercept is 5, up 2 over 3, down 2 over 3, down 2 over 3, okay? That's my line, boom. Then I'll do this one in green. I've got uh, y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So y-intercept is 3, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Hey, wait a second. Hopefully you guys realize, clear as day, that boom, that's my intersection. Negative 2 comma 4. Not only do I know it's my intersection because it's just plain as day, but if I go ahead and plug that point into both equations, I'm going to get a true statement and I'll prove it to you, okay? Y, which is 4, does that equal 2 thirds times negative 4 plus 5? Huh? I'm sorry? That, what did I do there? Yeah, negative 2, sorry. So that's going to be 4, does that equal... Uh, negative four-thirds plus, wait, that's wrong. That is wrong. Why is that wrong? Okay there. Sorry about the confusion here. I have here in this situation, I'm telling you that negative two-four is the solution, okay, to these two equations. It looks like it, as if it is, but when I plug these back in, this is really not going to work. This will not be a solution. Because 4 does not equal negative 4 thirds plus 5. But down here, 4 does equal, uh, it's going to be 2, it's 1 plus 3. So, very, very misleading here. This was the intersection point, but you have to check, you have to plug it into both to make sure that they work for both, okay? This must be off by a little bit, and that's why it's not the intersection. But this, you know, the point where they intersect is the actual solution. So, let's look at a better example. Find the solution of the system by graphing. Okay, first of all, I've got negative 3x plus 2y equals 8. Would I use the x and y intercept method for this? No, I want to solve for y, right? So, I have negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 8. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I got 2. Come again. 
Yeah. So I've got uh, 3x plus 8 divided by 2. So I've got y equals 3 halves x plus 4. Let's go ahead and graph that. Y-intercept is 4. And my slope is 3 halves. So up 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2. 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2. Down 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2. Down 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2. Connect the dots there. Boom. Okay. For this guy here, um, I'm going to subtract x to both sides and then divide by 2. So let me go ahead and do that math there for you guys. So uh, this is going to be 2y equals negative x minus 8 divided by 2. So y equals negative 1 half x minus 4. So 1, 2, 3, negative 4. My slope is negative 1 half, so down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. Let's go back up. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Bam. So my solution is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Negative 4, negative 2. Let's check. Let's make sure that this works. Negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. And 12 minus 4 is 8. So that works. Over here, I've got negative 4 minus 4. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. So this does work for sure. Bingo. That is my solution. So if you can graph, you can graph a system, you can find where they intersect. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Sometimes they're not going to intersect at the perfect points. And it's going to be very, almost impossible to estimate the solution. In that case, as long as you graph both lines correctly and you show me that they intersected, even if it's on a fractional point, you will get full credit. Okay? Does that make sense so far? Okay. Now, you can classify a system of two linear equations by the number of solutions, my friends, okay? By the number of solutions that they have. You have a consistent system and an independent system, okay? A consistent system, you can have two types. Consistent means that there is a solution. So if they're talking about a consistent system, that means there is a solution. Now, there is either... One solution, which is called an independent system, it's independent because it's just one, one point that makes that value true. Or a dependent system, which is the same line and it has infinitely many solutions. Okay? So again, you have two types of systems. A consistent system and an inconsistent a consistent system is a system that has at least one solution. If it has one solution, it is known as an independent system. If it has infinitely many solutions, that means that it is a dependent system and it is the same line. If you have an inconsistent system, that means that you have no solution. And if you have no solution, that means that the lines never intersect. So what kind of lines are those? Parallel. What do we know about the slopes of parallel lines? They're the same. So if I ever told you, solve the system, and I go, y equals 2 thirds x plus 5, and y equals 2 thirds x minus 6. Do you even have to do anything here? What's the slope of the first equation? What's the slope of the second equation? Are they parallel? Do they have intersect? No solution. And that is an inconsistent system. Yes, sir. It's either or. You could do either or, but sometimes in the SAT they'll say label as an inconsistent or consistent. I don't want to mess you up. Thank you, my man. For me, you could do either. If you put inconsistent, that tells me that you know it's no solution. All right? Thank you, my man. May I continue? 
<coughs> okay, excuse me. Now, how do these look? Okay. Remember, if we have intersecting lines, they intersect one time. They have one solution. Okay. It's called a consistent because it has a solution and it's independent because it has one solution. When you have coinciding lines or the same line, okay, they are infinitely many solutions. It's still consistent because there is at least one solution, but it's called a dependent system because it has infinitely many solutions. And parallel lines have no solution and they are inconsistent. Does that make sense, guys? Understand? Okay, cool beans. Let's talk. So, without graphing, is the system independent, dependent, or inconsistent? Without graphing. Well, get used to the following. Whenever we're dealing with systems or equations, pretty much always we're going to be solving for y. So get used to solving for y, my friends. So I have 4y minus 2x equals 6. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. 4y equals 2x plus 6 divided by 4. y equals 1 half x plus two, uh, 3 halves. That's my first equation. Second equation I'll do in red. I got 8y equals 4x minus 12. Divide by 8 to both sides. y equals 1 half x minus uh, 3 halves again, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, what just happened here? Number one, solve for the equation. Why is this like that? And y equals mx plus b form. It's not jumbled up on your papers, is it? Okay, make sure you write y equals mx plus b form, please. So always solve for y. Number two, compare the slopes. What's the slope of my blue equation here? What's the slope of my y equation here, or my red equation? One half. So the slopes are the same. So what kind of lines are those? Parallel. So what kind of equation or system is this? It's inconsistent. has no solution. Done. If the slopes are the same with different y-intercepts, then the lines are parallel, and therefore there's no solution. They are inconsistent. If the slopes and the y-intercept are the same, then the lines are the same, and they are infinitely many solutions. That's a consistent system because there's at least one solution. If the slopes and y-intercepts are different, okay, they're not equal, then the lines are independent and there is only one solution. Does that make sense? All right. Now, without graphing, is the system independent, dependent, or inconsistent? Let's solve for y. So here I'm going to add 3x to both sides. So y equals 3x plus 4. Done. Let's solve for y. I'm going to subtract x to both sides. So I got negative 1 third y equals negative x plus 1. How do I get rid of that negative 1 third? It's being multiplied. Multiplied by the reciprocal. Very good. So those cancel. y equals, remember to distribute, my brothers. So negative 3 times negative x is 3x. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Ping, pong, boom. Okay, slopes are the same. They're equal in this case. Y-intercepts are different. So these lines are parallel. Very good. That means that it's an inconsistent system. Consistent, which means that there is no solution. Does that make sense? We're good with that, guys? Okay, next, find the solution of this system by graphing. Let's solve for y. So I'm going to subtract x to both sides. I got negative 2y equals negative x plus 4 
divide by negative 2, y equals 1 half x minus 2. Next, subtract 3x to both sides. y equals negative 3x plus 5. Let's graph them and solve them, my friends. The blue one, the first equation, y-intercept is negative 2, slope is 1 half, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Connect the dots. You got your line. Next, in green, y-intercept is 5. y-intercept is 5. Slope is negative 3, down 1, 2, 3 over 1, down 1, 2, 3 over 1, down 1, 2, 3 over 1. We already found where they intersected, which is right here at 2, comma, negative 1. Plug them in and make sure it works. Negative 1 minus, uh, oh, something's wrong here. Is it a 2, negative 1? This should be right. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Yes. And then, oh, yeah, 2 plus 2 is 4. Yeah, hello. Yes, that works. They both work. Does that make sense, guys? Awesome. Thank you very much. Hope you learned a lot. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.